Hello students, uh, this is the last part of the trigonometry that is uh, principal solution. Usually general solution is also there but it is deleted from the syllabus for this academic year and uh, I will conclude the videos of this unit with this concept. In the previous videos I explained the principal solution. In this video, I will explain in detail and solve some questions on the principal solution. The solution of trigonometric equation for which 0 less than or equal to x less than 2 pi. Here you have to note that which is less than 2 pi. Here 2 pi is not included are called principal solutions. To find the principal solutions, First, you should know the values of trigonometric functions of standard angles that is 0, pi by 6, pi by 4, pi by 3 and pi by 2 and uh, sine, cos and tan functions and these values you already know and just uh, you have to recall and you should remember these values and second thing is you should know the ASTC rule. That is in first quadrant all trigonometric functions are positive, in second quadrant sine and its reciprocal are positive, rest of the trigonometric function are negative, in third quadrant tan and its reciprocal are positive, rest of the trigonometric functions are negative, in fourth quadrant cos and its reciprocal are positive, rest of the trigonometric functions are negative. And uh, I will continue with some animation and you will understand the meaning of principal solution as well as general solution. Now you consider the sine function y is equal to sine x. To find the solution of sine x equal to 0, you have to draw the curve y is equal to sine x and draw the curve y equal to 0 that is x axis. And these points of intersection are all the solution to the equation sine x equal to 0. And in degrees it is 0, 180 degree, 360 degree, 540 degree, minus 180 degree, minus 360 degree and so on which is called general solution. And the angle in between 0 to 360 degree are called principal solution. Here 0 is included, 360 degree is excluded. In radian 0 is included, 2 pi is excluded. And that's why here there are two principal solutions 0 and 180 degree. And uh, let us understand the principal solution for the sin x equal to k where k is any real number. If k is positive what happens you observe and just I take the increase the value of k and uh, when it is equal to 1 by 2 you know the value of uh, sin x equal to 1 by 2 and uh, when it is 1 by 2 and uh, you can observe what are the values of uh, x satisfying sin x equal to 0 0.5 and you know that sin 30 is equal to 0 0.5 therefore here 30 degree is one solution in degrees and other solution is 150 degree theta and 180 minus theta are the solution where theta is the angle satisfying sin x is equal to 1 by 2 and similarly if you increase you can get different solutions and say here some solutions are written there are infinitely many solutions and uh, this is the method of finding the solution to the equation. If a is negative then also there will be two solutions in between 0 and 360 degree and the solutions are 180 plus theta and 360 minus theta where theta is the angle satisfying sin theta is equal to 0 0.5 here it is uh, minus 0 0.5 is there you have to ignore the sign and sin theta is equal to 0 0.5 then you know the value of theta what is the value of theta 30 degree and here 180 plus 30 and 360 minus 30. The reason is you know that sin theta is negative in third and fourth quadrant. In third quadrant you have to write 180 plus theta and fourth quadrant it is 360 minus theta 
and that is the principal solution of the equation when sin x is negative and it is not uniform for all the trigonometric function for cos it is different and tan also it is different when it is negative and why and how to write i will explain later let us come to the other function that is y is equal to tan x see the graph of y is equal to tan x here also there will be general solution because every horizontal line cuts the tan x and there will be infinitely many solutions but the solution between 0 to 2 pi these two points are the principal solution and if it is positive that is if a is positive you can observe that theta is one solution and uh, pi plus theta is the other solution because in first and third quadrant tan is positive therefore theta and pi plus theta are the two solutions two principal solutions where theta is the angle satisfying tan x equal to a when a is negative you can observe when a is negative then also there will be two solutions and between 0 to 2 pi but uh, here when it is negative tan is negative in second and fourth quadrant therefore pi minus theta and 2 pi minus theta are the two principal solution of the equation tan x equal to a when a is negative and theta is the solution which satisfying tan theta is equal to modulus of a now let us find the principal solution of the trigonometric equation it is sufficient if you understand the method of finding the principal solution of sin x equal to a cos x equal to a and tan x equal to a since the rest of the three trigonometric functions are reciprocal of these we can find the principal solution using this function itself and if theta is the angle in the first quadrant satisfying sin x equal to b where b is equal to mod a here first you have to find the value of theta such that sin theta is equal to b and uh, what is b here the magnitude of a or modulus of a that means when the function is given and uh, by ignoring the sign you have to recognize the value of theta and then you know that using the a if a is positive then the solution of the trigonometric function is theta itself and uh, in second quadrant if the angle is in second quadrant you can write it as pi minus theta and in second quadrant also sine is positive therefore there will be two solutions that is theta and pi minus theta if a is positive and if a is negative the solution will be third or fourth quadrant and the rest of the two solutions are pi plus theta and 2 pi minus theta and this formula you should apply when a is negative that means to find the value of theta you should ignore the sign and to get the solution you have to recognize the sign if a is positive principal solutions are theta and pi minus theta if a is negative principal solutions are pi plus theta and 2 pi minus theta and similarly if you take cos x equal to a and you have to find the theta such that cos x is equal to b where b is equal to mod a that means you have to ignore the negative sign if a is negative and uh, then you can find the value of theta and uh, in first quadrant all trigonometric functions are positive therefore here cos is also positive and theta will be the one solution and uh, pi minus theta if a is negative because in second quadrant cos is negative and third quadrant also cos is negative therefore pi plus theta if a is negative and 2 pi minus theta if a is positive that means if a is positive the principal solutions are theta and 2 pi minus theta and if a is negative principal solutions are pi minus theta and pi plus theta if a is negative principal solutions are pi minus theta and pi plus theta and uh, if tan x equal to a and then you can find the value of theta 
and uh, said that uh, tan theta is equal to b where b is magnitude of a and uh, in first quadrant all are positive that if a is positive principal solutions are theta and uh, pi plus theta if a is negative principal solutions are pi minus theta and 2 pi minus theta and uh, first you have to find the value of theta for every problem and then you have to write the principal solution that may be for sine function theta and pi minus theta when a is positive pi plus theta and 2 pi minus theta when a is negative theta and 2 pi minus theta when a is positive for cos function pi minus theta and pi plus theta for cos function and if a is positive theta and pi plus theta for tan function pi minus theta and 2 pi minus theta for tan function when a is negative now the question here find the principal solution of the following equation see this question tan x equal to root 3 here root 3 is positive number and that's why you can write the value of theta directly tan of what is the root 3 tan of pi by 3 is equal to root 3 therefore theta is equal to pi by 3 you just to note the value of theta now you can write the principal solution and for tan function the principal solutions are it is positive in which quadrants first quadrant and third quadrant first quadrant means theta third quadrant means pi plus theta here theta means pi by 3 pi plus theta means pi plus pi by 3 and that's equal to pi by 3 comma 4 pi by 3 are the principal solution for tan x equal to root 3 next one find the principal solution of the following equation that is sec x equal to 2 i told earlier whenever the other three trigonometric functions are given you can express in terms of its reciprocal and the reciprocal of sec x is cos x and therefore cos x equal to 1 by 2 you can write once you write cos x equal to 1 by 2 you this is positive now and you can find the value of theta satisfying cos x equal to 1 by 2 that is theta is equal to pi by 3 and cos theta is positive in which quadrants first quadrant and fourth quadrant first quadrant means theta fourth quadrant means 2 pi minus theta the principal solutions are pi by 3 comma 2 pi minus pi by 3 2 pi minus pi by 3 means you can simplify pi pi by 3 and pi by 3 comma 5 pi by 3 and one more question find the principal solution of the following equation here cot x equal to minus root 3 whenever cot is given you have to take its reciprocal you have to take its reciprocal what is the reciprocal of cot x tan x tan x equal to minus 1 by root 3 when the negative sign is there you have to ignore the negative sign to write the value of theta and tan x equal to 1 by root 3 if tan x equal to 1 by root 3 what is theta pi by 6 therefore theta is equal to pi by 6 don't uh, bother about the sign to write the principal value you have to use the sign whether it is positive or negative now tan is negative in which quadrant second quadrant and fourth quadrant second quadrant means second quadrant means pi minus pi by 6 and fourth quadrant means 2 pi minus pi by 6 therefore the principal solutions are pi minus pi by 6 comma 2 pi minus pi by 6 pi minus pi by 6 is 5 pi by 6 2 pi minus pi by 6 is 11 pi by 6 these are the principal solution of the given equation that is cot x equal to minus root 3 and this is a question which will definitely ask in the annual examination for two marks and uh, it is very very simple questions thank you